thank you, uh, Professor Burke, for the introduction. I would <coughs> first like to thank the generous donors and the Brain Foundation for the honour of receiving this award uh, for our research. Um, I have the privilege of working with Professor Stuart Grieve at the uh, Translational Imaging Lab in, uh, at the University of Sydney and Dr Geoffrey Parker at uh, Royal Prince Alfred Department of Radiology. Our research is into a disorder with many names but the two the most common we use the pseudotumor cerebri and idiopathic intracranial hypertension. It commonly affects young females but can occur in anyone and its main symptoms are chronic headache and eye disease which can result in permanent blindness. A definite cause is not truly known but what we do understand is that there is a high pressure of the fluid that surrounds the brain. This then begins to block the, the veins. Inserting a stent or a metal cage within these veins to open up and, rest and restore some of the normal blood flow can bring down the pressure, can cure the disease, preserving vision and getting patients off medication permanently. There's been a revolution in this particular area for this condition in the last 15 years and RPA leads the world in this area. Now for any patient to receive this treatment they must first undergo an invasive diagnostic test and the test when I tell it to you sounds fairly brutal but it's not as bad as it sounds. We insert wires and tubes which are passed through a small incision in the groin through the large veins of the body all the way up to the top of the brain to record pressures. This must be done to see if their condition will respond to treatment. Our first but modest aim is to develop an MRI scan to replace this invasive test. Our lab has refined a new type of cutting edge MRI technology which can exact blood flow in four dimensions in any part of the body, something which has not been possible until a few years ago. This will allow us to virtually explore blood flow through the veins like never before. With the clinical experience at RPA Hospital with this disorder and this new MRI scan, I wanted to collaborate with these world-class researchers into developing advances for the benefit of our patients and to expand our understanding of the condition. Our initial experience with a few cases have revealed some interesting observations which will help us realise these goals. No doubt we are excited and we will put this money to good use. Thank you. <laughs>